explosions, carnage, destruction all around. Is Reiner dead? No. Is Hanji dead? We don't know. But we're I prepared because we're wearing black shirts. I know. We're in mourning. Although I have we're Jurassic thinking, Park on mine. <laughs> we're going to have to find out in this week's episode of Attack on Titans. And as you know, Attack on Titans. I'm Tom. <laughs> Storm, Kimmy here. So welcome back, everyone. That was a good intro, Tom. Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic. Excellent. So we're Excellent. watching episode fifty-three, three fifty-three on Crunchyroll, which is three sixteen, uh, episode sixteen of season three. Um, yeah, I'm really sad about Hanji. I really don't think she could have survived that. I mean, she's not a titan. She was it's... way too close, too close for comfort. Yeah, it's pretty incredible what Reiner could do to protect himself. I mean, we saw that with Levi, and now mm -hmm. with those thunderbolts mm -hmm. or those um, thunder spears that killed him um he came back but hanji doesn't have a power like that so yeah, no. very sad that's a lot of people yeah, i mean the whole squad here we were building up hope for humanity like everyone else on the show and here now we're just in complete destruction all around like they lost so many people yeah. in this battle alone yeah it's, not it's only to get yeah. worse before it gets better yeah it's not looking good at all and ervin we didn't see much of him last episode. So he was calculating still, looking around, and he wants to go to the basement. So maybe we'll see that this episode. Yeah, maybe he'll be just sneaking around and just go by himself. And well, I don't know. He's got his eye on the Beast Titan. He's he's watching him to see what, when he makes his move. Yeah. True. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he can't do much. He's injured. Not good. He calculate. Yeah. No, I know that, but I mean, he can't do much physically. That's what I mean. No. Yeah, and even though the Beast Titan is kind of, um, you know, just hanging out there, messing with his ear, just like Zeke, you know, yeah, so you know like it's little, him. But um, yeah, he's just watching. And uh, I think if, you know, I don't know if he's like really keeping tabs on Ervin or not, but Ervin definitely is with the Beast Titan. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there might be something there. So if he leaves, he's going to see it. The Beast Titan and might be interested in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what kind of diversion. I mean, the Colossal Titan was a huge diversion. So he might have struck <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. So he might have Oh, the Colossal Titan can time. do a lot of damage bef before he even, you know, stands up Starts, again. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just incredible how slow he is, you know, because he's so massive. It's just insane. You gotta sacrifice something, and speed is the key. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, shall we get into this episode? Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Watching that crunchy roll, three five three three sixteen. <gasps> oh, oh, gross! Oh God, that sucks! Oh God, God dang it, dude! It always ended like that. They must have so much fun doing the show. Like, let's end it at the like most intense part you know he really, he really had to fire them up and really make them understand that that's the only way they would go right and he was very truthful i mean at first i'm like yeah you can't be that truthful though because everyone's gonna cower well, but you can't really sugarcoat it. i mean if you're gonna be charging the enemy and he's throwing boulders I mean, look at what's you, happening I mean, yeah. yeah and people it's, are gonna rebel and freak out and coming like, down at you lying. boulders are coming at you you're going to die. It's not looking good. Let's just fight. Let's give it all we can. Mm -hmm. We can sit here and do nothing and die, or we can take a chance and fight and right. probably die. Yeah. Right. So it was still very motivational in how he said it, because he was really, he was real. He was upfront about it. Mm -hmm. And as scary as it is, if you sugarcoat it, they're going to be like, well, you're freaking lying to us and screw you, you know? So. Uh. I just hope it was enough time for Levi to get where he needs to be. I mean, yeah. Levi, again, is incredible. I know he's an Ackerman, but just to be able to go that way and how many titans does he have to use his gear on to get there there were like several titans <laughs> He's so leap from titan to titan and i know it's fast but to do it accurately like all the way through and however many has to go through will he make it there on time before the beast titan even knows and how much gas does he have left in his uh, odm yeah exactly and the only good thing is the beast titan is focused on this it's you know it's it's a distraction so he's like oh i'm just gonna play with them okay they're so silly doing this suicidal rage at me yeah they're all gonna die sad. so he's just focusing his attention on it it might work you might lose you can lose a it's lot a of people but <laughs> yeah you know, it's a stretch but it just might work I mean, the show shocks us on, certain, on a lot of things, but like 
certain things that we try to predict is so off. And I'm like, well, I just don't see the Beast Titan dying by Levi. I feel like there's no way you can kill him. Like, we still have to know more about the, him and stuff. The only way that I think he can have a chance against the Beast Titan is injecting himself with that serum. But we don't even know what that's going to do. Yeah, because, again, yeah. we talked about how the serum could possibly make other people change. But being an Ackerman because of their, um, you know, their bloodline or something, bloodline. I don't know if they can transform you know because kenny wanted to and then he got upset at rod and he's like oh you're saying that no matter what like my bloodline is not meant to transform or whatever but if he injects himself because he said he decided not to at the end but did you notice when um when uh, mikasa got hit by that shrapnel she was steaming yeah like when the titans regenerate she was steaming i didn't know if it was just because it was just so, so hot hot i think it was just because it was so hot i don't think she was steaming cause i don't she was know like, i think it's a subtle something you think so I don't know. Uh, I don't think Who's so. <laughs> but, you know, I do have to say, because she's always been so brave and determined, that there, I think she was, you know, it's always a risk when you go after a Titan, especially the Colossal Titan. Mm -hmm. um, but as Hanji was saying before, with those weapons, those Thunder Spears, you got to be careful because you can't latch onto a Titan um, because if you are, you're too close. And when it blows up, you're going to blow up with it. So you have to go to buildings, but you can't with a Colossal because he's too big. So she, I think, well, was willing to sacrifice herself because she was too close to those spears. Well, I think she latched on because she knew the steam that pushes them away. And that, that was her chance to hold on. But I guess she didn't really think that the, uh, the spears would... Yeah, you know, he would do it before the spears actually penetrated right. skin. Yeah, exactly. She didn't she plan that. Back. Yeah. But before, when they were working quick, I think she just didn't even think about her own life at all. And she kind of figured that she was probably going to die there because, you know, again, if it did work out, Hanji was saying not to attach to a Titan. But I know she attached to the Colossal because of the steam. But either way, you'd have to because you have nothing else to grab onto. So it's just so high up there. That it's so high up yeah, there. Yeah, so she'd have high. to either way. And she was close because it was quick. But right when the spears went in, she's grappled on. And then the steam kicked up and then they shot back. So, you know, she, she was still but Did they close. even make it in or they just, uh, did they just... They go close and then get blown away. Good question. I thought they made it in for a second, but no, I guess you're right. They just no, got just, close and yeah, then... Yeah, it just turned around and he just, I mean, just reflected back. When they were trying to, you know, distract him, sometimes an obvious distraction, you know, if I saw them, you know, calling me names like that, I would know someone's coming from behind. Mm -hmm. You know, if they did like a subtle distraction, like down below where he had to like look down, that might have been a little more... I don't know, probably would have worked a little better. I don't know. I don't know. Just, I mean, and, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, and he's... poor Aaron is on the wall still. He's not moving. Yeah. He's on the fence. So, <laughs> 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 so it's going to take a little while for him to recuperate. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be fine, but it's going to take, take take some time. It's just, to... you know, we haven't even talked about, uh, I mean, the, the show hasn't even mentioned about the Titans that are currently in the wall. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm wondering if they're, I don't want to say the good side, but if they're on the side of humanity and that's like their secret weapon kind of thing that no one knows about because no one wants to share information. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think that they're for humanity. I mean, like that would suck to well, cram why would a bunch they... of Titans in a wall just to be like, well, we'll that's what I mean. Why, would, you why would humanity put Titans in a wall? You know, and it's how can you say you didn't know that? Out yet about yeah, through the church. Yeah. I mean, I know we were saying before we were thinking, well, maybe um, they're tougher than the walls, but only if they're armored or crystallized, you know, and they're not mm -hmm. like that in there. We saw flesh ones, really. So, like, right. what's the purpose of that? And um, the only thing I can think of, I mean, I'll, I don't think that was planned, but I'm going to think crazy as, you know, we're hearing about this coordinate ability and Aaron still has to learn how to use it correctly, right? So, what happens if he can, because he roared to get the Colossal's uh, attention, but he you know, wasn't like the connecting one. It wasn't the one to communicate with the other Titans really, right? So um, right. if he does call them, can he summon all the ones in the wall and like have an army of his own? Well, that's too? what I'm wondering. Maybe if um, if the Beast Titan keeps summoning all those drugs, he'll penetrate the wall enough where his scream can actually penetrate the wall. Yeah, so I think he would think that through. The Beast Titan, but I think, would know On the flip that. side too, if he does activate them and they all just bust through the wall, then the wall's all shot to hell. Yeah. Right, and I, I think some way, I think the Beast Titan, the coordinate that they want is Aaron. 
I think they want to capture Aaron and they he wants to use Aaron to, you know, be even more powerful. You know, try to manipulate him in some way. Or eat him. And they really need, yeah, or eat him to get that power. It's so funny to say that. Or just eat him. It's like true. Chicken. I didn't yeah. offer him. Meet another That's human. probably what his ultimate goal is, to get him. Mm-hmm. So Because he is the coordinate. And he doesn't even realize, you know, this powerful, you know, tool he has. I just think, because, um, you know, Reiner noticed, like, they all noticed that he did have the coordinate ability. But I'm kind of like... You know, why have to, why do you have to kill humans? Like I know we keep asking that question, but here like hey, they're not going to hurt you. <laughs> well, they're separating just be white. themselves cuz they are human, but they have a special bloodline or they're, you know, they have the ability to change into titans in a more intelligent way or whatever, but like they s- separate themselves from humans and say humanity has to die, which really sucks. And I'm like like they must be really threatened by humanity or maybe they just don't want to share the power with them. I don't understand why they, they must need to destroy all well, of them. They kind of made it seem like the humans behind the walls are the scum. Yeah. Because they're humans outside the walls. So they must think that they could think like they're more civilized and we're the barbarians or the savages kind of thing. Well, and they transformed them, transformed those humans into Titans and the Beast Titans, you know, he has power over them. So that's probably why they're acceptable, because he has control of them. Yeah. What, did he did he transform him, or did he, like, activate them? They, Either way, they same thing. The ability, they still or? have the power. Yeah. He still has the power. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but, like, in the intro that we've been watching, because, like, I always try to look at the details every time we see it, and we did see them kind of, like... You know, it was a different animation, but it was like the same scene where you had the Beast Titan and he was surrounded or he had the arch of, um, uh, I almost said walkers, <laughs> of Titans around him <laughs> and giant walkers uh, um, that they look like they materialized. So maybe they were human. They were like bodies or something on the ground and they just like, or maybe he can actually just fabricate them too. Because right now we're relating them to humans only now that we know humans, you know, transform into them, but... Yeah, yeah, it could have been the people them. that were in the that were in those houses outside the wall, just outside the wall. He could have taken them, like dead humans. I don't know if he could bring back dead. I mean, maybe there were. But I mean, before you crushed there. everything, maybe he took it before, you know, they this... even approached. But I want to know, like the the titans that Levi is attacking right now. I want to know what their purpose is, because you know, one of them saw Levi coming but didn't do a thing about it. Yeah, he's like, I'm still supposed yeah. to be here for the beast titan. But well, you think that they'd be like defending him or something where they'd fight back and because they don't seem goofy like the other ones. They seem more put together. Well, the yeah. thing is, um, I don't think they're that smart, right? The ones that are with him right now in that half circle. And I think I think the Beast Titan has to be focused and he has to give them direction. Like, you know, right now they're just... And if dormant. they get... Yeah, if they get one thing that they have to do, that's all they're going to do. And right now they're just being told stay here stay in line so or he's too like focused to actually give him orders yeah maybe that's what it is because mm-hmm. i don't think they could think for themselves to be like hey i'm getting an attack you know maybe and that's just the like... problem with humans because humans think we know we can we can you know think outside the box if my boss is busy i maybe i can help out but he likes this control and that might so, be his you know his downfall yeah unless you know maybe it is because they were just fabricated out of nothing but um you know, there are a lot of humans that are in Titans too that, you know, have no control at all either. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Just... I'm so surprised that like, you know, the beast Titan is the only one that can actually speak through his Titan form. Um, not the only one. Cause you mirror could a little and bit too. Scout. And oh, that, that's right. And that yeah. horse one. That's, really... <laughs> Where's Duck that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I take that back. <laughs> Sorry. I just think that's so funny to me. It's so bizarre. And I know, that's like the crazy thing about this because I love the style idea, like the different um, designs of the Titans. But that one's just so bizarre where it's like you have so many deformities, but to have like a super elongated skull that's not even human It's a price he has to pay so we can talk. <laughs> Maybe he was a horse. Maybe he's not human. Maybe he's like a horse. Like a horse Titan? Horse. Yeah. And then he just has like this intelligence about him. I don't know. Who knows? They made a deal with the Send devil. Him to, to the glue factory. Titans. Send him to the glue factory. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad for Ervin. Like that sucks, you know. Like he know. wanted to get, but to he the knew basement. it. I mean, he yeah. he knew and it was he inevitable. He had to lead them. He had to do this. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise they wouldn't do it. 
they wouldn't go. I mean, yeah. would you blame them either? I mean, I know. You, you if my leader doesn't want to go, why should I go? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you all know. hope is lost, but him going kind of shows like, well, there is a possibility or he's brave and I'm going to follow. Yeah. Well, what else is he going to say? You're all going to die. Go ahead. I'll be right here waiting for you guys. And that yeah. I'll be like the beast time. People you guys probably go. do that, you know? So <laughs> this is, yeah, if you want to succeed or, you know, have some kind of hope, that's the only thing you can do. And man, just all those boulders hitting them like so fast, just chopping them in half. Well, he, he said that up. he'd be the first one to go because he'll be in the front line. Yeah, right, he did right. say that. Oh my God, that was such a terrible death too. But they had no choice; they had to do something, and you could just feel all the screams and everyone so scared. They are, well, and they know they're going to die either way. So, and you're, you're just getting trapped. hit with a, you're getting hit with a crumbled rock that's acting like a giant buckshot. I mean, it's yeah. you're not really going to miss. Yeah, and there's not really much protection anymore. Anyways, almost all buildings are leveled, and they're just getting pummeled anyways, like so quickly that you're just pretty much out in an open field and you have a wall yeah. behind you. There's nowhere to go. Like, that's terrifying. So, I mean, after after that squad, I mean, who's left? Levi and then uh, just our little group behind the wall? I think so. And maybe some survivors here and there. Hopefully maybe Hanji's, Hanji's group, maybe. group is maybe some are alive. Okay. And, you know, maybe that's going to yeah, be we still haven't had any closure on that one yet. A great surprise. Can you imagine? I'm just going to reach out awesome. and say... You know, maybe because everything, again, is so desperate that losing hope, I'm hoping Levi can carry out this deed, but I don't know, or task. I don't know if he can or not, but can you imagine if um, other members of the group can change into Titans without realizing it? Like, maybe they'll get triggered by the Beast Titan I'm, or something? Because that kind of thinking, them. I'm no, kind of thinking that, that I'm, I'm thinking Mikasa, Mikasa, mm -hmm. but... Um, Maybe even Connie, too, because if his family can change, unless they were forced to change, it could be in his blood, you know? Yeah, they just haven't, like, fired yeah. that up yet. Yeah. They haven't triggered it mm -hmm. yet. So, you know, I'm just trying to be desperate here, thinking that we're seeing all these upgrades with Reiner surviving twice um, using his Titan form, that maybe somehow... But then again, it's too long of time now, where if Hanji's group, you know, that was a while ago, the Colossal Titan's been you know, walking around for a bit, they've been fighting him or trying to stop him. So they've been dead, you know, so unless they're like on their last breath and somehow they're able yes, to trigger it to survive. One or two of them. When they showed, when they showed, um, uh, Reiner's, uh, head getting reformed, you know, his brain and everything. Yeah. I, when I looked at it, my first thought was he looked like the Mars attacks alien. I knew you were going to say that. I, 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 I've never seen Mars Attack, but I've seen like the weird alien references like in other shows and stuff where you have like the beady or the eyes that pop out and then the brain showing, right? <laughs> yeah. I've never what? seen that movie. And I am sure you haven't seen <laughs> no. it. Either. Maybe people should request it so they can watch it. I heard it was funny and I never ever I never even saw a piece of it at all. I just know that I, 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 and I think that's from you because you I used guess, to say I that guess. a lot, yeah. yeah. Wow. So on that note, guys, very tragic episode and it is. Hope is lost. We're going to try to stay positive. I think it's still going to get worse before it gets better. I totally think so, too. worse it can get, but... Will humanity survive? I don't know. I think this is kind of a loss. We have to survive. Humanity's part. This sucks. My walls are still up. I mean, everything... So yeah, far. Ooh, so you far. I mean, Especially your village behind you, the castle. It's yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, it's, it should be peaceful it. like that. But <laughs> honestly, like, everything's destroyed. I mean, how do you even rebuild at that point? You want to stay positive, but you can't even... You know what they need? Protect the wall. You can't even. They need Scalin and his big purple middle finger. Ah, uh, Kim's like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, Guys, we're watching The Legend of Vox Machina on our channel. So you should check that out if you haven't already. Because Tom and I have been watching that and we love it. It's so funny. It's totally our humor, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love Scanlon. So, anywho, guys, love you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. You can check out our links below if you want to That's see our full right. reaction, like. our entire video of thousands of shows and movies that we've watched over the years. Love you. Bye, guys. Don't Bye. go exploding. <laughs> Don't go exploding. <laughs>